Hey everyone, welcome to News to Astonish, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And I'm your host, Ronnie. Today I'm going to be bringing you a review for a comic book. Oh yes, I haven't done a comic book review in a while, so let's get to it. Yeah, it's been a while and I was thinking about doing it, especially for this particular comic since it's been out for quite a while. And I said to myself, why am I not continuing this review for this comic book storyline? It's just getting better with each issue so far. So here it goes. This is a review for Secret Empire number five. So in the last issue, we had an interesting story with the most of the Avengers meeting with Ultron and having dinner with him. To me, that served as a filler and it was fun, but it ended up not going anywhere. From there, it served as a diversion and it really wasn't a critical point in the chapter. But here in issue number five is where things start to unweave and we start getting more revelations. Revelations that make us go, what, how, and why? I'm going to spoil some things. So if you're a comic book reader like moi, then you might hate this video or dislike it at most but I don't want you to hate it. <laughs> so anyways, just to give a general overview of this comic and where it stands, we know that the Resistance, which includes Tony Stark, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Spider-Man, and the rest of the Avengers, up until this point have been trying to collect the missing fragments of the cube. And Tony's the one who's been leading to the possible locations of these pieces. Problem is, it's been a dead end from for them every time they've reached a potential destination and all hope is just lost. And everyone's just freaking out and going mad. So far, every issue of Secret Empire has really touched upon the personal aspect of the characters. We get some backstories, personal conversations, and you sort of feel like that everything has gone downhill for these people and that you just want to cry. Crossovers like this really bring out the best of these characters in a personal level, and I'm a sucker for that stuff. That's what makes a superhero so intriguing at first. They have problems, conflicts, and regular lives aside from their heroic measures. They're dealing with loss, heartbreak, and inner struggle. For example, there's a heartfelt moment in this issue where we see Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man, texting his daughter Cassie, talking about what he's been up to, trying to save the world, and how it sucks that he has to fight people he knows in order to save the world. It's those moments that give this issue its charm. And of course, what's a Marvel comic without its wit and humor? You think given a situation like this that it'd be very inappropriate to have humor. No, it's in there, but it's very subtle. I've noticed that the story of Secret Empire explores the hopelessness and futile nature of the quest, and it's what keeps us engrossed in the story. You want to know where this story goes. You want to see the good guys succeed. That's why I'm rooting for them. But aside from that, we learned that Tony had no idea how to find the missing fragments of the cube and that he was using the intel he had gotten in one of the early issues and his so-called detector that he built. Turns out that the detector wasn't a detector after all. It was hope and so he built that instead. And I loved it. At times like this, moments of despair, hope is what you can use. Granted, it may be false reassurance, but it's totally better than sulking. As for who the mole is, that remains to be seen. Finally, spoiled. It's real towards the end of the issue that Bruce Banner is alive. How is he alive? I don't know, but I'll tell you that when Bruce Banner took an arrow to the head back in Civil War 2, no one was happy. Not even the readers was happy. I wasn't really happy at all. I'm excited to see the Hulk take part in this. I can't wait to see where this goes. Guys, in the end, I had a great time with this issue. The writing is solid. The art is still inconsistent since you do have three artists working in tandem. But hey, at least it's a good read. I'm going to give Secret Empire number five, four out of five five stars. Pick this one up guys, read it and you'll love it, trust me. Alright guys, that was my review for Secret Empire number 5. What did you think of it? Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Be sure to stick around for my review for Secret Empire number 6. I'm halfway there since we're up to Secret Empire number 10 at this point, so I really want to get these reviews out of the way as fast as possible. Since I believe this series is very important and could lead to the change that we as the readers and Marvel desperately needs. So please hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next comic panel. Oh, my God.